Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be trying my nano facial steamer as well as my pore cleansing vacuum. I'm excited to try this because when I tell you my face is oily and clogged. I guess it's sebum, but it's frustrating. My pores are I can feel my pores, if that makes sense. Like, I can feel the filaments in my pores and it annoys me. Blackhead acne removal instrument. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it comes with a little manual. And this is the vacuum. Different sizing caps. And I'm guessing this is to plug it in. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Okay, so it works. Um, so I'm gonna take my pour steamer out. This girl intends to use these products to remove these pores. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> This is nice. This is convenient. This is quick. I love a bowl and a hot water too, but like this cuts it. This cuts the time. This is nice. I feel like my pores are definitely open. I feel like th there's a bit of oil on my skin right now. So I'm gonna try the pore vacuum. Here we go. Okay, so that's one. I feel like this is better for the T-zone area. So like this to this ratio. This is gonna take you like a good 40 minutes sit down to use. Um, I can see this being really time consuming cause you're like, you're gonna be trying to suck each pore. Um, and even though I have a lot in here, it's already been like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And this is all I have. Like I was expecting like, <laughs> It still is satisfying because you can see it lifting them out. It's a really tight lift. It's like, like you gotta drag it out a bit, you know? I like this product. I'm keeping this. So this is after the pore cleaner. I use my apricot scrub. And then I go in with my Garnier toner, which I dilute with water. And then I just use my Nivea face cream. Like this is my go-to routine. I have days where my skin is glowing and then I have days where my skin is just rubbish, usually closer to my menstrual cycle time. But for the most part, that routine works for me. So that's what I'm about to do. I got what I wanted out of the pore vac vacuum cleaner, which is for like, the sebum in my chin to really be lifted out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my apricot scrub to continue with what the pore cleaner brought to the surface. I'm gonna go in with my St. Ives blemish control apricot scrub and just give my face a um, manual exfoliation. I really like ap apricot scrub and I think a lot of people stand by this product. It really helps to remove um, the sebum that is visible at least. I'm gonna go through with my Garnier um, skin toner and I'll be using a cotton swab just to clean my pores basically and I'll just run that over the skin. I use Nivea cream to moisturize. I feel like this cream moisturizes my face so well. Um, it doesn't give me any bumps. I usually get bumps from products pretty quickly. I've been using this product now for almost a year. And I just take a little bit, dab it on areas of my skin. And then I just, you know, pat it into my skin. I 
guys, so that's my routine. It works for me. It's affordable for myself. Um, I'm a student, a mother. I don't have the money to purchase 20 pound toners, 20 pound moisturizer, and 20 pound facial scrub. I use a five pound moisturizer, a five pound exfoliator, and a three pound toner. And it does enough for my skin, like I can't complain. So. That's my at-home facial, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.